Before the Hoonigans Season 2 update dropped, the team at Ivory Tower released this statement regarding progression in the game. While we love long-term progression in our game, we don't want to make it too long for our players. We looked at the data and we've decided to make some minor changes to the loot experience in Season 2. Now that to me says that they're increasing the rate at which legendary parts drop for players. So did they? Let's go. Real quick before I get into the video, if you're looking for any of my Motorfest tunes or my Need for Speed Heat builds, I've moved everything to my website. It's MilitiaGamingCo.com. There's links in the main navigation menu for Need for Speed Heat builds and Motorfest Pro settings. So click those if you're looking for that. The link to the site is actually in the description of this video. All right, enjoy. Before I get too far into it, I have to say there's only so much I can do to test this stuff. I don't have the keys to the back door and I can't see any of the drop rates for the parts and I have no inside information. Everything I'm about to discuss comes directly from my own personal testing and data recording. All right, here we go. So even though they didn't come out and say, hey, we're increasing the drop rate for legendaries, that statement is obviously an admission that the player feedback pointed to a progression system that was just too long. And by saying, we don't wanna make it too long for our players, they're insinuating that they will be shortening it. So I tested the parts drop rate before and after the Hoonigan update to see if anything changed. I recorded the parts drops for 20 races before and after the update, 10 before the update on Hummer Event, and 10 before the update on Kiss Me Combi. Then I did the exact same thing after the update. So it's a total of 40 runs, 20 before and 20 after. Additionally, the parts I used and the legend points were exactly the same for the before and for the after. On the Hummer Event before the update, on 10 races, I received a total of 40 parts, and two of those were legendary. On the 10 Kiss Me Combi races, I received a total of 48 parts, with four of those being legendary. So the total was 88 parts, six of which were legendary, and that's a legendary parts drop rate of 6.82% over the course of 20 races. Now, after the Hoonigan update on the Hummer event, I received 41 parts with only one legendary. And after the update on the Kiss Me Combi runs, I received 49 parts with three of them being legendary. For a total of 90 parts, four of which were legendary, which makes the legendary drop rate of only 4.44% after the Hoonigan update. All right, so after the update, it was obviously less, but there are some things to take into consideration, so here are my full takeaways. Number one, 20 runs each is not a ton, and maybe if I were to double that number on the test runs, the percentages would probably creep closer and closer together. With only 20 runs, one more legendary here or there could mean the difference in a lot of percentage. For example, if I had just gotten one more legendary in the data for after, that would make a drop rate of 5.56 instead of 4.44. Hopefully you see my point here. And number two, the fact that the drop rates were sort of opposite of what I expected, given what they said in that statement, I feel like they either didn't touch the drop rates for legendary parts at all, or they reduced the rate after the update, which is honestly super disappointing. I think the grind in the Crew Motorfest is the reason a lot of players left or are leaving the game. The amount of time you need to put in to get full sets of legendary parts is just insane. Now, I appreciate a grindy game myself. I actually love having to spend a lot of time doing it, but I'm a full-time content creator with literally, that's what I do. I play the game to figure things out and grind for these sets. But that doesn't mean the rest of the player base can do that or wants to do that. Now, in addition to that, I actually decided to record some data from the Grand Races because some people like to play that as a more casual way to get parts. And I actually had heard some people saying that it felt like they were getting more legendaries there. Unfortunately, I didn't think to record these parts drops before the update, so I can only show you the results after. But that being said, I recorded five Grand Races and received a total of 42 parts. Now, of those 42 parts, I got three legendaries, which is a drop rate of 6.67, which is basically the same as my before drop rate on the two playlist events that I tested before. The data points slightly in the direction of it not really changing at all. And if I run a grand total for all of the data in this test, I got 220 parts and only 13 legendary parts, which comes out to a drop rate of 5.90, which is essentially 6% drop rate for legendaries. 
I'd really love to see something more like 10% be implemented and to see how that affects the number of players in the game. I think if they were to combine a higher legendary drop rate with some better summit rewards, the game would get an instant significant boost in activity. Not that it's dead or anything like that, but a lot of the casual players have moved on or don't really partake in the weekly summits. So in conclusion, I just really think that it's a little bit too low and they really didn't change anything at all when it comes to legendary parts for this Hoonigan update. In addition to that, there's nothing in the patch notes that suggests that they did so either. And so to me, with this particular issue, which happens to be a big one in the community, I just think they probably missed the mark on this and were concerned with other things. But the person writing that article thought that this was happening. It seems like a mistake or possibly a miscommunication within Ivory Tower, but who knows, because I'm not really there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this has shined a little bit of a light on this situation, and hopefully going forward, they actually do change the legendary drop rate. It is by far one of the most important parts of this game, in addition to the summit rewards. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Trigger out.